now I'm going to show you how we actually do the alignment. Uh, as you probably know, we want to move the sensors inside the body so that when the golfer turns, we don't get the ellipse effect and the actual sensor turning on the back. We want the sensor to be as if it is inside the body so it gets the true center of the rotation of the shoulders and the rotation of the hips. And we do that by measuring the offset from the sensor to the appropriate part of the body and I'll show you as we as we go. We do that for the shoulders and we do that for the hips. So I place one side of the triangle or the set square on the sensor making sure that this line is perpendicular I go to the acromion process of the shoulder and I put my finger right on there and I come back and I get four inches so that would be the uh, offset measurement for the shoulders now I do the same measurement for the hips if you lift your elbow up a bit come down here I want the center of rotation of the hip so I pick the point where the greater trochanter, at the top of the greater trochanter, which is the thigh bone, top of the thigh bone, put the sensor, sorry, put the um, triangle or the set square on the sensor, push it in, and then place my finger right where I want it to be, and I get five and a half. The measurements for this, I think, are good. You only need to go down to about the quarter of an inch. So you'll have three and a half, three and three quarters, that sort of thing. And then that's what we enter in to the system. So you need to remember those two measurements, plus one more measurement, which is the length of the club. And I go from the sensor to the heel of the club. So I simply put the sensor, put the tape measure in the middle of the sensor. That's good. Put your finger on it. Thank you. And then go all the way down and I get 33 and a half. And that's the other measurement that I'm going to use. Now, we don't profess that we can measure the actual club head, but we do like to get a measurement of the club shaft just so we can give you a projected club head speed so you've got a, a general measurement of miles per hour. And that's all we need to enter into the offsets for the computer. And that's basically it for the setup. Now we're ready for the golfer to go ahead and be aligned and then switch.